Welcome to the Home Group Podcast, where we discuss everything addiction, recovery, mental health. I am Flip. And I am Luke. Our generation of men, you're not allowed to have feelings. We're going to talk about things that are uncomfortable, things that are scary, because when you talk about it, you take away its power. The only thing that's going to keep me clean is me not wanting to be who I was then. Uh, we was in the trenches, now look how we out here balling. Popped up in the max, now we Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Home Group Podcast. I am Flip. Clean date, April Fools, 2016. What? Oh my god, dude. My, my, my mic's got, got a fidget It just keeps spinner. getting better and better. God, and I'm Luke. Clean date, October 11th, 2017. All right, what are we getting into today? Boy, oh boy. Ugh. Listen, I have... Uh, that stinks. <laughs> that smells. No, it doesn't. That smells bad. <laughs> really? And now it's on my mic. And now but my those, mic smells. Those are clean shoes. Yeah, they're clean shoes, but they're like me. You know what I mean? Fixing that internal problem with an external solution, dog. All the shoe cleaner in the world can't clean my insides, my boy. I'm dirty. Wow. I'm dirty. Okay. Dirty Luke. All right. That's what they called me back in high school. Okay. Um, dude, my mind. It's telling me no. My, my body. My body is telling me yes. No, my mind. Like, I, I just, I'm forgetting things. I left my freaking key card to the office on my desk. Yeah. We are, I thought we were dead. Yeah. I got it. It's right there. I got it. Yeah. I no, th- for real. I thought I was like, dang. I was like, we're gonna have to go live tonight. I yeah, drove. We had to do something. I drove we- here early to get everything set up. Yeah. And Sierra's like, why you gotta? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. She's like, why you gotta go early? I say it's a lot to set up. Yeah. For like one person, it's there's a lot of moving parts. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I mean? I'm so glad I got here and helped you guys. Yeah. Well. We had to get a key card from Buffalo Bill. Yup. He was at the meeting. Buffalo Billy. Mm. Huh? Mm. Bill's doing good. Yeah, he is. Bill was just uh, spitting hard, cold facts at the meeting. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. I love yeah, you know, Bill get on a tangent, and he'll just... Yeah. You know what I mean? He'll... He, remind, he reminds me sometimes he gets in, in, like, preacher mode. But not, like, preacher mode, but, like, you know how, like, them preachers get on a roll? It's good stuff. You know, he's one of the guys that I talk about when I say, like, I wish that I could convey my thoughts in front of people. Like him or, like, you. Andy's another one. You know what I mean? Uh, y'all just, like, y'all are, like, Biggie Smalls. on the, You know what I mean? Y'all are just swinging from recovery vines out there, dog. Just... It's just practice. That's Tars, all it is. Like, like, you know. It's just practice. Tarzan after crack. You didn't share until you were forced to tell your story, which was what two years, two years clean. Yeah, I sat. Three yeah. years clean. What yeah, was it? Yeah, I just sat. Um. What was that? That was like a year after I got out. So that was like four years clean. Okay. So, um, it's just repetition. That's yeah. It. That's all it is. But yeah. Yeah, listen, you ain't, you ain't far from it. I've yeah, been I'm hearing getting, you share, dude. Yeah, I'm getting there. You know what? I didn't get nervous at all. I chaired the meeting today. I didn't get nervous at all, dude. Can I? I leaned my chair back and I was projecting. Can I ask a question? Right, about, Aunt? Can we get a? Can I ask a question? How come there's only two of you that ever chair? What do you mean? I try any, to pat. Any t- anytime I go, it's well, let's. I mean, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, and I know what you're gonna say. The hey, uh, traditions are formulated, and in the spirit of anonymity. I didn't say the ever other rem- person that shares. Ever reminding us. Or you, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing where we're not supposed to divulge such uh, information with. Listen, we talk about wieners on this podcast, uh. okay? So I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying I only ever hear you and one other person chair. That's it. Well, Flip, you've only been to. Stop. That. Stop. You've only been there twice, so. And that's erroneous. You know what I mean? That's a run on all counts. That's like, how are you going to win the lottery if you never buy a lottery ticket? I'm uh, thinking you know like I mean? Charlie from Willy Wonka, dude. Yeah. I'm hoping to just walk by a good storm drain. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? 
mm-hmm. find something. So. Shout out Charlie from Willy Wonka. Yeah, we're gonna have him on. I'm for super making pumped it about to the that. end. I'm super pumped about that one. Is that actor still alive? What has he been in anything else? Don't worry, we got Young Ant on it. Young Ant, pull that up for us, would you? <sighs> boy, oh boy, I'm gonna feel like a real butthead. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy. That's is he retired alive? Retired from the Chocolate Force? He was. He was. From the Chocolate Org. <laughs> How old is he? Damn, so he was a vet? Yeah, he retired from the veterinary practice in September of 2023. So here's 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 my thought process, right? And I'm not going to pretend to know, but like when you get that taste of stardom. Yeah, right? as like, a kid. Char- you're Charlie, dude. You're char- Like what else? Okay. So if if you're going to be in any other movies, I mean, you have to fucking Heath Ledger that shit, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or else, yeah, but, it's a bust. N- but was it? He was, he was a child star. What's the life expect? Pull up the life expectancy of a chocolatier, would you? Oh, Can we get... Yeah. Oh, God. Let's get into that. Well, so here's my thing, though, right? So, like, you get that... <laughs> 47 years! A decade, dude. Hey, it's real out here in these chocolate streets, dog. Hey, you saw the factory. You know what I mean? Hey, that blueberry bubble gum done had Violet Beauregard. Diabetes, man, leading cause of death. That tra- hey, tracks. you know what they say? Don't get high on your own supply. So here's my question, though. Like, you get success, and and here's the thing. And I'm just looking at it from from my standpoint, right? If I'm you could have me be a background extra mm-hmm. in a TV commercial for Contact Solution. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Guess what? Clear eyes. Guess what? You can't tell can't me tell shit. Can't tell me shit. You can't tell me shit. Guess what? What? When I come to work, yeah. there better be a fucking red carpet on that ground for me to walk down yeah. or I quit. Yeah. And I better never pay for contact solution. I don't have a need for it because I don't have contacts. But guess what? I Sometimes I might just want some. I want the colored kinds. One with different, one and purple. So, one. But, but like, so you go from being Charlie, who yeah. every kid wanted to be Charlie, dude. Yeah. Every kid wanted God, to be I Charlie. I just wanted a fucking golden ticket so bad, dude. So bad? I would have smacked somebody up on the playground for a golden ticket. And my man just said, you know what? This life ain't for me, so I'm just going to be a vet. I mean, shout out. That's, that's dope. Help animals. That's cool. Yeah, you're going to give up the factory, though? I, I'm not. Not a chance. No way. Not, Not a chance. Ha- Not going to happen. That's the stuff of dreams in yeah. there. Um, so since we're talking about stuff of dreams, let's talk about nightmares. What's going on with Diddy, dude? Oh, boy. I have no idea. All I know is I heard an audio clip, allegedly, of him and Meek Mill. You hear? Clapping cheeks. Did you hear about that? Yeah, from you. Oh, you called me and said, hey, have you heard that audio <laughs> Yeah, clip? I was really excited about it. <laughs> I know, dude. I super- and you know how I know you were excited about it? Because we had the phone conversation at 8 a.m. Yeah. And I've, I've had approximately <laughs> 786 morning conversations, and 785 of them sound like this. Yep. <laughs> Sup. Uh-huh. Sup. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm like, dude, my house is on fire. You're like, okay. Damn, bro. You need some... Mm-hmm. That sucks. You need me to... Uh, I, got some, I got some water in the I van. I can Instacart you a jug, <laughs> uh, gallon of Zephyr Hills, bro, <laughs> if you want. And you were so pumped up to yeah. talk about that audio clip. That's crazy. Yeah, it's wild. You listened to it, right? Nope. You didn't listen to it? Nah, there's something about... Um... It's... Honestly, bro, It. I just wanted someone to share my misery with me because it's. Not, it didn't even sound like anybody was enjoying anything at all it sounded more like like some medieval torture type stuff it was um it was rough damn no. it was rough and i can't stop thinking about it well now, now all this stuff's coming to light like uh they play i saw a clip of an uh, old stand up from cat williams talking about a diddy party that yeah was crazy well i know about that yeah then you have uh 
they have an audio clip of LeBron saying, ain't no party like a Diddy party. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I can't think that, you know, Space Jam went down like that. Yeah. Can't think that he gets down like that. Yes. I I was watching uh, Theo Vaughn mm. and Drewski, and Theo was saying that you get so much money that you you become, like, rich gay. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Yeah, because you've had, like, you get so much money and you've had so, you got all this power and all this, like, wealth and you've tried everything and it's just like, now you can just, like, afford to just do whatever and... To whomever. And you can, and say, hey, don't, you know what I mean? Don't talk about this, right? Here, sign this NDA real quick. Speaking of that Theo Vaughn episode, did you see his Cat Williams? (laughs) Oh my God, dude. The black nutcracker. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Theo Vaughn, and this is why I love him. He says the most off the like if 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 I were to say, yeah, uh, did you see that Cat Williams interview? And the next thing out of your sentence is, I had bought a Cat Williams statue from Michaels a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. you're like, okay, that's obviously fake. Yeah. And then, and then there's then he pulls up a video of him walking out of there with it with the giant black <laughs> yeah. nutcracker dude yeah. and it does look like cat williams i'm not gonna lie yeah. i'm not gonna lie his impression joe rogan how you gonna have 30 pairs of swimming trunks and you've never been in the water joe rogan <laughs> <laughs> that shit kills me dog oh god so bro. Good, dude. so maybe cat williams isn't crazy no he's not he has just been in Hollywood and he has been in the mix for so long and he's seen so many things yeah but then you okay so, and I'm not I'm not denying that I'm not denying that right but then like he says the the outlandish shit like he can run a sub four three 40 yard dash yeah and he goes out there and impressive he ran like a four eight five impressive yeah for a man of his age yeah but that's not a sub part three Four three, you know what I mean. Well, he probably had a cramp or something. He's probably well, but then it, t- it takes dehydration. It takes the validity away from the actual stuff that you're saying. Yeah. So Diddy has completely turned into a uh, super villain. I haven't even been keeping up with. After I heard villain. that clip, I was like, okay, I'm. I don't even know. I'm scared to even. He's a super villain this. now, dude. Yeah. I just want to go back to the days where he was dancing with Mace, mm. dude. We ain't going nowhere. Uh, 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 we ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. Because it's bad boy for life. Psych. He did go somewhere. He, He's gone. He's going to prison. Did he get caught? No. No. I mean, they're going to drag that out. But listen, I will tell you what. We are in an interesting day and age where they are bamming people. Oh, they're making an example out of everybody, especially yeah. if you got money. Yeah. Well, you saw uh, Sam Bankman Fried, the FTX guy. I just 25. saw that me and we're at the house. I was watching the news. Because 25 of, years. Yeah, dude. He got peeled. 25 years. Rightfully so. Pull though. the rug. A rightfully so. Though. Rug puller. Um, how about that bridge? Oh, my God, dude. There's been so much going on. Baltimore, dude. Oh, God, dude. Bro, they said that ship is the size of the Eiffel Tower sideways. Only that's how he described it. He said, the mayor said, yeah, it's the size of the Eiffel Tower sideways, and it's got a bridge on it. So here's the thing, right? And if you see the video, you see the power go out on the ship. You do see that, (coughs) right? (coughs) But, like, no. You know what I mean? Like, we are... In a day and age where I can get in a car and press a button and that thing drives. Well, I think that's the problem, though. We're relying so much on technology these days. Like, you know what I mean? Like that that wouldn't happen if if we were relying on human. I, I love where your head's at. And I agree. However, to get your CDL. So just to be able to drive an 18 wheeler. Yeah. You have to drive through like a crazy course yeah like I've a coned it. It course looks fun it looks stressful because mm-hmm. i can't park right you know what i mean yeah and for i know it, i fucking for, saw your truck when i pulled up oh and that was a repark believe it or not <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a repark. number two and there was five spots yeah and that's yeah, completely that was, wide open and you're sideways yeah um so to get your cdl so i can only imagine 
to not only get to dr- to drive a cargo ship like that. Yeah. Do you see how much those guys make a year? What? Cargo ship drop? Probably ha- a lot. Four hundred to four hundred fifty thousand dollars in. That's crazy, dude. What's that called? A C- not a CD. What's that? A BBL or something? <laughs> big boat license. A big boat license. <laughs> is that what that is? No. Boy, I want to get my BBL. I'll tell you that. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Luke wants to get his BBL. And then I'm going to make all the racks yeah. with the semen. Yeah. Hell yeah. Holler at me, Diddy. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Oh, God. What? It's all downhill from here. What? <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, the first thing that I, and this is going to sound fucked up, but whatever, when that Baltimore bridge collapsed, yeah. My first thought is like what are the terrorism? Att- no. What oh. are what are the addicts going to do? Because like I th- I think the of, whole port shut off. Yeah, not only is the whole port shut off, but like there's people that can't afford to like live in the nice part of town, but they got cop drugs there, you know what I mean? Bro, they said 8,000 jobs in the port because there's no boats coming in and out. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's going to take a while for them to even clear the channel out. I was thinking about what are cars going to do. Cuz think about it like if well, this, I'm sure if, there's other it, but it okay, and there are, but think about how much of a nightmare that would be like if you worked at Tropicana Field and that's, you had to take the Skyway. Yeah, and the Skyway went out again. You know what I mean? Well, that's kind of what they tried to do to me today at work, but that's neither here nor there. We don't have to get into that. Boy oh boy. But Whatever. Shout out uh, Buffalo Bill, right? <laughs> Am I right? Wow. Anyways, um, yeah, dude, that's super unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. I don't. <sighs> that was uh, extreme. <clears throat> oh, it even had that. a water burp. What? A little yeah. Too much carbonation <laughs> yeah. in there for you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. There's uh, crazy stuff going on in the world. Yeah, man. God bless. I don't even know what to make of it. You know, I heard an interesting take today. Um, Elon Musk, they have just basically deemed the Tesla chargers, like the power stations, yeah, like the top performing, basically, charging grid. Okay. So he's got the autonomous vehicles, yeah. which I don't know if... So my buddy that works with me has a Tesla. Yeah. And it is always recording. 24-7. Recording what? Just everything around it. Around it inside too? Not inside. Just around it. Right? So it always knows where it is. So think about this. So he now controls the charging grid. Okay? The He has basically a bunch of surveillance vehicles cameras everywhere right? surveillance vehicles everywhere he's got the spaceships that go into outer space i would hope that the okay. spaceships go he's into got outer space. he's got the satellites yeah that can control the internet right look what yeah. happened with ukraine he said oh starlink okay it's coming to you, you guys will be back online fucking tony stark dude this he, dude is he's gonna be skynet he's going to be a super villain right He's going to be a supervillain. Him and Diddy. Yeah, they're taking over the world, dude. Yeah. Yep. If you think about it. Yeah. Wow. Diddy's going to be clapping cheeks, and Elon Musk is going to be sending them in by the droves. Like robots. Elon Musk is setting himself up to literally be able to control everything. He's got the Neuralink. P1. Patient 1. Neuralink. I, For the first... Uh, Neuralink patient. I was, um, and I don't know what I was expecting with Neuralink, right? But, like, I was a little disappointed the dude was still in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. You well, know. it's he's the patient one. You know what I mean? I know. I'm, I know. I'm thinking by patient maybe well, 500. They might have exoskeletons and stuff. Well, but here's what I was thinking, too. Because I was watching. I was like, damn, I'm a little disappointed. Like, he's not getting up and walking. But I don't know how long he's been in that wheelchair, and yeah. atrophy is a thing. Mm-hmm. So he might have to, like, get yeah. his legs working again. A couple more I mean? games of Mario Kart. How crazy was that? He was playing Mario Kart with his mind. Yeah. He was just looking at the screen, 
and playing Mario Kart with his mind, dude. Imagine the the applications for that, bro. So then the flip side... Like VR with your mind. The, the flip side of the take of Elon Musk is going to be the next supervillain, right? Which then just means I have to find a crazy venomous spider and get bit, right? Right, of course. Yeah, a couple. Get a two. Yeah. Get a two um, of them. And... But on the flip side of that, somebody said that the Neuralink is going to be our solution for the final battle when we fight AI. Because all the humans are going to be souped up yeah. themselves. Yeah. We're going to war. Yeah. Against With the machines. Yeah, dude. War worlds. Terminator. Boy, oh boy. This is wild, dude. Yeah, and dude, we I'm, predicted it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Well, we predicted the, it. The Simpsons predicted it, but the Simpsons predict everything, bro. I don't know how to. It's it's a little freaky. They predict everything. I know, dude. Matt know. Groening, is that his name? Yeah. Matt yeah. Groening. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It don't make no sense. Yeah. Even do you see the the Trump on the uh, on the escalator, waving with the red tie and everything? Yeah, bro. Yeah, predicting mm. presidents. Mm. Good Lord, dude. I, I can't even predict, <laughs> I saw, you know what I mean, what I saw, I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I saw a video of Trump, dude, and I didn't think it was real at first because it just shows his hands, and he's in a golf cart with his iPad. He said, I just got new speakers, and people say it slaps harder than Obama, <laughs> right? And starts playing music, and it's bumping, and it scrolls up, and it's really fucking Donald Trump. It's no. really fucking him, dude. No. It's really him. Bumping on a golf cart, dude. Just that dude, one way or another, that dude is going to be elected president again, yeah. I think. That's the people's champ right there. Yeah, dude. I, I don't want to get political because then we're going to piss a lot yeah, of people you're right. off. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I just, I mean, listen, I don't care who you are. That's funny. That's funny, right. That's comedy. He's funny. That's comedy. He's funny. Dude, he's a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Rogan yeah. talks about it, dude. Yeah. He's a stand-up comedian. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah, dude. It's wild. And you can't buy him either. Nah. No. He just does whatever the fuck he wants. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this world, dude, but like, I'm scared for my kids. I'm scared for our kids. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of excited in a way, too, dude. Well, I mean, you know, I'm excited for obvious reasons. Zombie apocalypse. You know what I mean? This is an awesome time to be, like, growing. Dude, when I get when I get in that VR, yeah. I know. it's wild, dude. If I would have had that when I was a kid, matter of fact, it probably wouldn't have been good. You're right. No. This is scary. <laughs> no. That's scary. Well, You're because right. this is this is ultimately what's going to happen. We're going to come to a point in time when nothing matters but food, shelter, and survival. Yeah, and that's scary. Back to uh, square one. Yeah, sticks and stones, homie. They break my bones. Sticks and stones, homie. Mm. I was uh, so I was talking at the um, at the uh, gathering of like-minded individuals. And I was talking about when I shaved my eyebrows off. Okay. When I was working at AHAG as a sales rep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, was, I got, like, got in the mirror, and I started with like the pencil beard. Yeah. And then I was like, man, this ain't, and it ain't it. So then I like shaved my face all the way, and I was like, that, and now I look like shit. Yeah. I have to do something to rectify this situation, so I'm going to fade my eyebrows from the outside, right? So I start fading them, and I fade a little bit more. And then before I know it, I got two little f fucking Rottweiler uh, <laughs> fucking patches right here. And I was like, well, that's not going to do it. So then I shave them completely off, right? And then um, I'm like, the only way that I can fix this situation is to just shave my whole head, right? And I'm like, no, nah, I'll just go with a fade. So I tried to fade my own hair. And obviously that didn't work, so I had to shave my whole head. So I went in there looking like Powder or Ami James, right? And on my way into work, I took my blue pen that I wrote deals with. Stop. Don't say what, you, what huh. I think you're going to say. What? And I penciled in my eyebrows with a blue pen. With a ballpoint pen. And I was like, they'll never know. They'll never know, dude. I'm, I'm good. 
Was that around the time of the picture of you sleeping and drooling on the desk? Yeah, that was actually probably. Yeah, I think I had my stuff started growing in a little bit after when that picture was taken. But yeah, that was right around that time. I had a, a few months. That was right around the time when I was when I met you. Yeah. When I was sleeping in the parking lot of the presidential. HHR. In the, in the back of the HHR. But that my, my sickness, my disease was telling me like, this is normal. Right. Mm -hmm. And if I would have seen somebody looking like that today, I would have crossed the fucking street, dude. Mm. That dude's out of his fucking mind. Yeah, well, guess what? You were out of your fucking mind. Yeah. As yeah. we all were in active addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know it's what I mean? wild, dude. <laughs> so stupid. Dude. Oh, my God, the worst, dude. So stupid, bro. Penciled mm. eyebrows. Mm. And then I, I went like this, and I, like, put my hat real low. Well, that would have been the play. Hoping that... Well, I didn't want anybody to like peek underneath and see that I didn't have eyebrows, so I just figured if I just do a little couple little things on there. How did it look? I told you at the time I thought it looked great. <laughs> you couldn't tell me nothing, dog. <laughs> you couldn't tell me nothing. You would have thought that I just went and got my BBL license, dog. Dude, I used to go to the gas station in boxers. Yeah. A robe. <laughs> And fuzzy slippers, dude. And, like, really, w how I visioned it, right, was, like, mink coat. You know what I mean? People like, know I got money. Ostrich slippers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I am Half. so... Hugh Hefner. I am so cool yeah. that, like, this, these are the only garments that I need. Yeah. Really, they were the only garments you had. Yeah. Because everything, like the other three outfits that I had were dirty. Yeah. And I wasn't about to spend the quarters to wash them in the washing machine <laughs> yeah. at the Regency Inn. Yeah. Shop. You didn't want any any uh, employees from Bells to see you because you just fucking walked out of there, out the dressing room <laughs> with a bunch of clothes stacked up underneath your robe. Oh, my God, dude. <clears throat> you know, right around uh, anniversaries, you really get some time to reflect. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you look at stuff like that, and it's funny now, but, like, dude, I was a buck 13. Yeah. And and that was if I got a, a Little Caesars $5 yeah, pizza and eight, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Then I'm, like, a buck 13. Yeah, yeah. And it was just so, bro, I saw pictures. Sierra was, she went through one of the, like, I don't even know what she was cleaning. What was she fucking cleaning? Oh, we have uh, the closet in the guest bedroom. And it was kind of just extra storage, but she wanted to clean it out. And she found these pictures. And I had these pictures with my grandma and grandpa. My grandpa had just, he recently just passed away. Um, and it's a picture with them. And I remember the, the time frame. I had totaled my car. Okay. Naturally. On St. Patrick's Day. Naturally. Somehow convinced the cop that the car behind me hit me into the truck in front of me. Luck of the Irish. And it worked. Of course. So they gave me a $5,000 check in active addiction. Wow. Okay. I went to a dealership. What a come up. Oh, my God. I went to a dealership. Yeah. Convinced them to let me only put $1,000 down. <laughs> yeah. Never made a payment yeah. on my car, yeah. right? Yeah. But I had these family pictures, dude, and I, <laughs> I look like a Tootsie Pop. It's like, how did you convince, how were you able to convince that cop and convince the people at that dealership to let you get off like that? There is look no in the way. way that you did. There's no, you know the mystery, you know the mystery dum-dums, the white ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that. That's what I look like. That's what I look like in those pictures. All head. I, oh, that's it. <laughs> Just head. That's it. And a stick. Head, feet. That's it. <laughs> stick, dude. And like I'm smiling in this picture, dude. And I'm like, how did anybody not just immediately put me into a straight jacket? Yeah. Like this human being is unwell. Yeah. That's it's, wild, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about, bro. It's wild how far how far we've come. Yeah, you have come a long way. I'm proud of you, bro. Bro, you've come a long freaking way. Well, 
comes with the territory. You know what I mean? You hang out in the lines down long enough, you're liable to find a hair. Mm-hmm. Oh. Rare. It's uh, it's it's wild, dude. Like the the things that I get to do today. You know what I mean? Like I just got the the roster for the basketball team that I'm coaching. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I get to do that that kind of stuff, and like it's just, I'm so grateful. I've been completely slacking on the gratitude list. I did. Yeah, I, I saw that. I did. I I was good for a couple of days. Dude. Yeah, me too. And then I just been completely. I scroll slacking. up sometimes, and I'm like. Oh, oh, there he is. Yeah, dude. But I, I do the same thing. Glenn's always getting on my ass about it. Oh, dude. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, listen. You ain't grateful for nothing? One thing, one thing that I'll say about Glenn, shout out Glenn, dude. Yeah. Religiously. Every day with the gratitude yeah. list. He's on it. Every day. He'll hit me eight, eight, nine, ten in a row without me saying anything back. <laughs> And my man, my man has no fear of rejection, dude. No, you get you get two chances with me. If I'm doing a gratitude list with you, and I do it two days in a row, and you don't do it, I'm I'm stopping. <laughs> yeah, I'm stopping. My man has gone months. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll put it out there for you. Yeah, dude. You need people like that in recovery, man. Well, you know that's what? what it's all about. And that's the and but that's the thing that makes me reflect is like I can't lose sight of that. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's when you start getting in trouble. Yeah, I mean, it gets, it's so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day, dog. Like, mm. we got shit going on, bro. I know. I we know, got dude. this podcast, and we got our work, and we got, you know, I got people that that I have sneakers from. Yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, you know. When's the last time you customized? Jesse, it's been a minute, dog. Why? Well. Did it stop becoming fun? Be honest. No, when so it's just a motivation in the moment type thing with anything really mm. with me like when I'm not doing it it's like it's like recovery in a way. Okay. It's like when you're in active addiction, like let's relate me not doing sneakers in active addiction being in active addiction okay. and like getting into recovery and quitting like it's once you take that step then it's enjoyable. And you get onto the other side. So, like, once I start customizing something, I'm like, fuck yeah, I want da 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 da. And then I get in like a grind mode and I do a couple few pairs or whatever. And then, like, if I stop, right? Like, if I stop, just like if I stop with my recovery and stuff, Mm. I'll fall back and it's like almost not enjoyable and I lose sight of like what was fun about it. If that makes sense. I, I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. I was uh, watching The Accountant before this. The movie? Yep. Love that. Oh, my God. I love that for you. I'm hey. going to watch it when I get home. Oh, my God. Such a good movie, dude. Yeah. Such a good movie. Um, Benny Fleck. Which, and I talked about this on the other podcast, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. One in 68 kids in America are diagnosed with some form of autism. Okay? I want you to think about that number and then think about how many people we know with kids that have some form of autism that number's skewed there's right. no way that number is accurate well those are just diagnosed cases true valid <laughs> point valid point <clears throat> valid point um, i guarantee you get me in there boy i'm i'm scoring a triple double you feel me but in the accountant he has that <sighs> taste for fine art yeah and he's got that jackson pollock yeah 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 you know what i mean and I'm looking at that Jackson Pollock dude, and you know me, I'm not artistic, right? Yeah, but you're like, I can do that. I'm, I'm like, I want to do that. Right. I literally played it out, my the first piece that I want to do. You that I'm, I'll never. You should do it. I'm, I'm curious to see because I like trying new things. Yeah. But I'm like, why is I just I I don't understand that about art. I have a huge art appreciation. And I love art, and I love all kinds of art, and I love different types of art. But, like, what makes a piece valuable as opposed to another piece? Well, I think it's name. But then why is it? It's like, only when they die. It's like brand recognition. Like, what separates a off-white uh, Air Jordan 1 high with a, you know, pair of chuck taylor's or something you know what i mean it's all it's just it's the same materials it's the same everything it's just like brand recognition right 
I guess. I just, I wish that some of those artists. Dude, some of them pieces of artwork look like this fucking shit right here. Yeah. This uh, window blind or yeah. whatever you yeah. want to call it. Blank. <laughs> Black square. I know. $100,000. I know, dude. I know. It's giving me depression and um, a breakthrough of emotional insecurities. I wonder if the I wonder if the people that do that actually believe what they're saying. No, dude. No, they do not. Bro. Because like <laughs> absolutely the, not. The most that like I think of like when I look at something like that, I'm like, I see an elephant. Yeah. You see the elephant with the with the trunk. Yeah. You see the trunk. Yeah. And then like the big ears. Yeah. Like I'm looking at a cloud. Yeah. I'm like, that's a stegosaurus. That's it for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's the most you're getting out of me. Yeah. You know what I mean when it comes to looking at art. But I still appreciate yeah, it. Just, people feel like emotions. In art, maybe they do feel that. Nah, but them them extra ones I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, with the English accents, and where it's it's literally like a white canvas, and there's like three like black dots on it. Yeah, and they're like I see a girl struggling to find herself yeah, like, in a dude. big world. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? Are you talking about, dude. Those are pupils. <laughs> like obviously, those are <laughs> nipples, dog. Like I see a pair of tits. <laughs> Like, come on, dude. Get fucking real, buddy. When all else fails, it's tits. Yeah, tits all day. Boy, tits, no hair. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah. Uh, what do you, uh, what you got going on this weekend? It's Easter, dude. Uh, yeah. It's Easter. Not a lot. I'm telling my story tomorrow. I'm sorry. But it's at the Sally at noon. On Tuttle? Yeah, on 10th Street. What? I'm going back. No. I'm going back. Wow. Gre dude. Gretchen pulled me in, dog. Roped you in. Yeah, shout out Gretchen. Wow. She might really? watch the pod. I feel like she's the type of person that might watch the pod. Really? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Um. I'll be embarrassed if she doesn't. I just okay, shouted so her out for nothing. How you feeling about that? Um... Like shit. Why? I don't know. You know how it is. You oh. don't know how it is, but you know how. Maybe you know how it was, like before you were a wordsmith. But I don't know. Were you just born into this? You know what? You know what really truly made it was COVID. Because when COVID came, and I was taking meetings in there. Oh yeah. It was only one you of were, us allowed at yeah, a time. Yeah, you were. That was it. You were it. And the first time I went in, I was like, all right. So what do you want to talk about? And it was crickets. Here's the thing, dude. I don't mind talking like this. Yeah. Like, dit, 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 back and forth and, you know, our little antics and stuff. But, like, <laughs> like being by yourself talking to somebody is just fucking insane to me. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Right? No. Am I, am I not right there? No. Because, and I guess how I look at it is... And not saying that I have it figured out or that you have it figured out, but you have somehow found a way to be clean right, for a certain amount of time. Well, and that's right. And yeah. it's just about sharing that experience, strength, and hope. And that is what I'm, I keep in mind yeah. going into this. It's like, it's, that's, this is important. It's just, it's just as much for me as it is for them. And it's important for me to just tell my truth and like whatever you know what i mean if they don't like it they don't like it if they do like it it's just about like hopefully it. one thing resonates with somebody with one person look at glenn right glenn was in there when i was taking meetings in there i know I you was, know what i mean i was in there yeah and so um it's like uh maybe i shouldn't have said that but whatever who cares we talk about wieners yeah we can um, bleep, we can bleep his name out um but like <laughs> fucking thing for everything. What? We talk about wieners. <laughs> so I mean, whatever. When, when all else maybe fails. we should maybe we shouldn't get political. Man, we talk about wieners. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. But it's it's and I look back at my journey, right? Because there were things and even though I wasn't ready at that time, there's things that people said that when I was ready, all of a sudden it all clicked. Right. And that's what it's all about. And you got a dope story, dude. Like, you have overcome mm. some shit, not only in your life, but in recovery that, like, is like, holy fuck. Like, if this dude can stay clean through that, like, what am, what are we even talking about here? Right. You know what I mean? Right. 
And so, um, yeah, it's important for people to know that. God bless. That you can make it through some shit. I, I just, for some reason, I just remembered a couple weeks ago when I went to that meeting, I saw a dude and I was like, I know he's from the Sally, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And that dude had a full blown meltdown in there. Like was just spewing yeah. some crazy stuff. And I remember thinking like, yo, I hope he gets it. Cause I was worried, you and know, because I mean? there, there was so much hate in his heart when he was talking yeah. about life and stuff like that. Um, and like, that's a huge thing is like that hate and that anger. Like you can't hold on to that. And my man was filled. Yeah. Like there was no light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. And so it was super cool that now that I recognize that, I don't know what made me think about that, but it's just about, Bro, there. Regardless, you could go in there and talk about wieners for an hour. And <coughs> well, I was, you know, and a person one day will be like, you know what? Maybe sense. I should stay clean because I have a wiener. <laughs> yeah, you know what it I makes mean. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's just about trying to help one. Person. Well, I just know that there's like a, you know, there's like a uh, a procedure, a format, format that you should go off of, like how it was, how it. I disagree. How it was, how it got better, and what it's like now, right? Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's kind of the the whatever, but I think that in my experience, I just have to go in there and speak from the heart. Right. And there's so many people that go in there and do that by the book, and that's great, and I'm not knocking anybody that does that. Yeah. But I feel like you and your story and you just being real – will touch people like you don't gotta right. worry about being you know correct or by the it's, book it's hard for me to not tell like war stories and shit because my whole life has been a war story dog like yeah. i'm just not i d- relapse is not part of my story yeah. right like i've never i've never gotten clean and relapsed yeah like i've only been clean for my entire life for these last six and a half years yeah. you know what i mean and yes i've i've accomplished a lot in that six and a half years but like all of the rest of my life has been like me fucking shaving my eyebrows off and yeah. penciling them in with a blue pen so that I can go and trick everybody into thinking I can I know about their windshields, right? <laughs> and thinking like, listen to me, I'm the windshield guy. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Give me all of your insurance information. Yeah. No problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I think I'll do an okay job. I did it last time. You, you'll kill it. And right? I thought I was going to have a hard time, yeah. and I went, like, past. There was no time for anybody to talk to me afterwards. They're like, all right, well, that's it. Yeah. Everybody, let's get up out of here. Yeah. So, And look at the first time. The first time you told your story, you were scared to death, and there was a ton I of people was. that came up to you, and they were like, thank you so much. They, yeah. Which you were like, damn. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you were staring at the floor, too. Thought you was going to burn a hole in it first time you told your story yeah you were too afraid to look up yeah you know what i mean and now when you talk you look up and you make yeah. eye contact with people yeah i think yeah that is something right that's growth that is shout out diddy <laughs> i don't think we're supposed to be so what else is going on shouting him out um so you don't you're not doing anything with the with the kids oh uh, no they're going with their mother okay super cool dude yeah that's Super dope. cool. She's doing really good. That's awesome. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Heavy equipment operator. So she's more of a man than me. Cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, drove a, I drove a forklift one time at uh, Custom Carts. Yeah? Yep. And tried to play a bottle flip with a golf cart. Did it? No. Did, did it work? It, no. You didn't hit it? No. No, on its side. You and flipped it over? Yeah, and not on purpose. <laughs> oh it'd be it'd be cool if like I actually did it on purpose. Oh, my God, dude. Yep. It wasn't oh, like were... a fuck this job. No. <sighs> it was like, hey, listen, we're down a couple guys today. Can you drive a forklift? I said, absolutely. Of course. I hopped up there, and I said, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> dude, I, I shit you not. I YouTubed on my phone <laughs> how to drive a forklift. And I picked up the first oh cart. Oh God! Dude. I didn't. I didn't get the uh, the tongs, the tongs. Yeah, right. The forks. Yep, that yeah, too. Yeah. And yeah. the and the knives. I didn't get the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. knives. The silverware. You didn't yep. get the silverware underneath far enough. Yep. And flipped it up, and that bitch said, 
What did you do? The next thing you did? Uh, pooped myself a little bit. And, and then you ran over and tried to flip it back over by hand? Yep. Did that work? Nope. <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact, you know who came and rescued me? My sp- Tony. Tony? Tony. You know Tony. Tony. Fireworks Tony? No, nah, tall Tony. The one, you, the one you did the blocks for. You know what I'm talking about? The blocks? Yeah, you remember the shoes that made you almost quit customizing shoes? Yeah, fireworks, Tony. That's What's, what I'm talking about. Why is he fireworks, Tony? Because he's, he sells fireworks. Oh, he does? Yeah. I didn't even know that. I think he just got his license taken away from him, though, Oof. for selling that good stuff. Dang. He was selling that good. Stuff. God, so, it brings me back to that dynamite. Brings me back to Northport, my boy. Yeah, but he came and uh, he came and saved me, dude. Yeah, he came. He said, "Watch out." He said, "The bosses are in a meeting. I got you." No. Hot to the, he said, "What a G!" Nobody ever found out. Nah, dude. Well, and I never hopefully nobody <laughs> watches the podcast. Sorry about that. God bless. Sorry about boy, that. We are we That's, are in the thick of it. So, and have we? aired the last episode yet yeah it's been uh live for about are we canceled are we canceled hours. yet probably as live streams probably getting canceled as we speak uh, anybody in the chat let us know if we're canceled yet yeah if there's anything on fox news <sighs> yeah i was worried about that one i was worried about that. i don't one. know what happened i blacked out no i know you see but that's that's a problem with you dude yeah i'll just go that's a problem with you is like if somebody like feeds like you know, just plants a little seed. Yeah. Nah, you want that motherfucker to grow right now. Dude. Yeah, yeah. So you'll just keep. I know. I keep on fucking, I'm spitting on it and fucking jerking it off. Come on, fucking grow. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Green thumb. Spitting on it. Dr. Green Thumb. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. God, did I say God's a monkey? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you said hear me out. You said hear me out. Okay, enough of that. Um, so it's Easter. Easter. Got Easter egg, uh, big shindig for the kids. Mm. You know what I mean? That's so cool. My your, my kids just went to... Did they, we talk about your clean day? I know we talked about it before. We will. We okay. will. So there was an event at Payne Park tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where... Circus Park. They were... They had 25,000 people there tonight. Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. And <laughs> There's a pretty big field out there, but that's like... 25,000. That's like Coachella, dude. 7,000 eggs. <laughs> yeah, dude. 7,000 eggs. 20, say that again. 25,000 people. Yeah. 7,000 eggs. Oh, what a bloodbath, dog. Oh, my God, bro. Needless to say, Ellen Jordan came back empty-handed. <laughs> Empty handed. Seven thousand eggs, twenty five thousand people. Completely complete waste of time. I, yeah, but Oh, I'm pissed. Yeah, but I'll tell you this much. I'm I'm not because here's the thing, and and shout out to my wife because she does it. She has good Easter eggs, dude. Yeah. She stuffs there's always like five or six golden eggs with money in them. Oh yeah. Okay. I love them. I live for them golden eggs. And then there's candy. And toys. There's little toys. Yeah. Dude, little trinkets. Yeah. And so the kids always have a blast, and they get more eggs than... We still got eggs from last year that ain't been opened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just yeah. sitting in their Easter baskets. It's probably still some out in the field. Probably. Most likely. Yeah, no, you see them uh, whenever the long guys come. You, yeah. You'll just see some pink shrapnel. Yeah, shooting know? underneath the trailer with the bounce house yep. on it. By the that, way, by the way, I'm glad you brought that up. Is it over? No. Oh my god, why is it over? And not only is it not over, but Ella's birthday is next month. Oh my god, bro. I swore that I would never I know ever fuck with this bounce house again, dude. I know, dude. Oh my god, bro. You gotta you got a month to prepare. And dude, then you wanna I know need the to best get back in the gym, bro. And, and do you wanna know the best part about that? Fourth of July is right around the corner after that. Bro. I know. I know, dude. Just burn we, it now, we, we got, and we then got we two, don't have to worry. We got about two it. times in the next three months. Well, hopefully, uh, it doesn't go up in a fiery blaze in the middle of the night while everybody's sleeping. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, but my uh, <clears throat> my eight years is coming up, dude. Bingo! Let's go on Monday, God willing. Let's go. Eight years, dude. Let's go. Oh my God. Eight piece McNugget. Oh my God, dude. That's huge. 
It's crazy to me. Eight years, bro. That's wild. That's wild to think about, dude. You know what I mean? Did you ever think it was possible? No, 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 no. And I didn't even think the life that I had was possible. Right. You know what I mean? That's wild, right? Like, I let alone, I mean, the, the staying clean for eight years is crazy in itself. You put that, you put me, you could put me in an empty room with nothing for eight years, and I would be surprised if I came out of it clean. Right. You know what I mean? Because halfway through, I'll be snorting drywall. Yeah, dude. If you, like, went into, like, a time machine or something back then yeah. just to get a glimpse of how you look now, like yeah. what your life looks like now, yeah. you would be like, how did I get all these clothes? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, where's my robe at? Yeah. Dude. What is going on? Yeah. Where's, where's my fuzzy slippers? Yeah. Like, what's <laughs> this is so weird. And who are these little people that are running yeah, around? Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's crazy, man. It's a, a beautiful thing. Oh. I think I'm going to pick up uh, my medallion at uh, your home group. Really? I think so. Fuck yeah, dude. I think so. Who's so, giving it to you? I don't know yet. You okay. Actually, actually, you know who I was going to ask to? Young Ant. Really? Yeah, but Young Ant. Young Ant. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Young Ant. Yeah. Give him flip the medallion. Yeah. So I'm going to put him on the spot. You know what to do. Mm. Better fucking do the right thing. Oh, God. Did uh, you don't want the and smoke. did I ever tell you about the time that uh, Luke introduced me to tell my story <laughs> and played the Bulls? Nothing like it. You'll never see a spectacle like this ever, dude. All right, I go. Uh, yeah, I just want to uh, introduce a good friend of mine. Um, you know, he's a he's a he's a father. He's a husband. Um, he's a, a pillar in the recovery community. He does a lot of work. And uh, um, with that being said, and then I hit the button on my phone and it played the opening for the starting lineup for the Chicago Bulls. And I was like, the often imitated, <laughs> never, never duplicated, sometimes irritated, but always appreciated. Flip a styles. The whole place. I'm thinking the whole place is going to fucking erupt. In my mind, I'm yeah. like, the whole place is going to go fucking bananas when I do this. Bro, dead <laughs> quiet. And Flip is fucking beat red. He had no idea that I, I looked, was going to do it. I looked like the Chicago Bulls logo. <laughs> Flip said, all right, well, that's it. <laughs> and he went to like get up and walk out. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, that was good. That was good. <clears throat> that was good. So we got a lot to be grateful for. I yeah, got, man. I, we got to get back on the gratitude list, dude. Yeah, I did one this morning, but I mean, who's, I didn't. who's counting? You know what I mean? I didn't. Really? 90 days. Is Already? that math adding up? 90 days. That's Always got an app on the phone. I love that. I love that. Yeah. That'll be dope. 90 days. Not very many people make it to six months. That's what's up. Wow. Ant has made a complete 360 from what he looked He looked like a 180. Yeah. What? A three, I wasn't finished. Okay, sorry. He My did fault. a complete 360. Yeah. Right? Yep. Showed his ass. Yep. Came back around. Yep. Did a did a ninety. Yep. In ninety. Yep. Right. Okay. And now he's on the right track. I like I like what okay. you did there. You I see like that? What you did there. He definitely uh, that first three sixty though pulled his pants down and did the three sixty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you just saw butt and wiener. Busted his <laughs> busted his cheeks <laughs> open. <laughs> Look at me. It's so it's so crazy that the, all I think about every time I see him is that conversation outside of that meeting. Trying to talk him into getting help. Yeah. And, like, just the mindset of the addict to still an act of addiction. Yeah. Like, no, nah, I can't because of this. I can't because of that. If this happens, my life's over. Yeah. You know, and now look at him. Thriving. Thriving. Psh, killing it. Crushing the game. Yeah. That's what slanging, it's about, man. Slanging shields. And That's ripping about. wheels. We got to do a oh, thumbnail. Yeah. Thumbnail. You ready for it? Mm-hmm. How you feel about Jeff Goldblum? 
I think he's a schmarmy guy. From Jurassic Park. Yeah, he's a very, you know, oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. That's the definition of schmarm. Okay. If you look up schmarm <laughs> in the dictionary, <laughs> in the encyclopedia, you will see a picture of Jeff Goldblum like this. <laughs> okay, so um, we go to a new theme park. Mm. Okay, mm-hmm. grand opening. We take the kids. Yeah, where's it at? It is so. on a man-made island just mm. off the coast of Florida. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and they have managed to bring back some dinosaurs. Okay. So you got the dinosaur rides. Wow. Of course we're there yeah. because we're there for multiple reasons. One, we're there because there's dinosaurs. Of course. That's number one. Two, we're there because we heard they had dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Right. And lastly, we're there. Because we have to bring our kids, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, right. Whatever. Um, just... And so, you know, there's dinosaur rides. Mm. Um, they have... Dinosaur you know, rides? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you yeah. know, they're really going all in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they got to. They brought dinosaurs back. Yep. Some herbivores, you know what Pet, I mean? Pet and heavy pet and zoo. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they got the little grass eating uh, little guys, you know you what I mean? Little, yeah, the little, yep. You know little what flat, Little flat tooth joints. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. I got, a, I got a picture of one, you know, licking... Ella's face and she's smiling. You yeah, know what I mean? Of course. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> Addie's <Daddy>. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Addie's mean mugging everything. Uh, of course. That's I mean <laughs> you know par I mean? par for the course. Wesley is telling us the complete reproductive system <laughs> yeah. of herbivores. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jordan has his sketchbook and he's trying to draw them, but they won't sit still, so he's getting pissed off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You are eating Way too many dinosaur chicken nuggies. <laughs> of okay. course. I can start to see the beads of sweat. Of course. You know what I mean? Because I mean, you're eating too much. Naturally. And we go on this safari tour. Okay? Yeah. And this is where, you know what I mean? They got some of the real, the real hitters. Yeah, yeah. The real dinosaurs out there. Yeah. Right? And, of course, our tour guide is Jeff Goldblum. Because he's not doing anything else. Why he's, wouldn't it be? He's doing commercials for apartments.com. Of course, right. he's going to jump on the chance to be a safari right. guy. For sure. What an experience. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, so we're about halfway through this safari. And in the distance, we hear a scream. Oh, God. Right? Yeah. Instant panic. We look at, we, we're checking. We're, we're checking a head kids. Count. Yeah. Addie looks unfazed. Right, she doesn't care about anything. She's uh, no, she's a robot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ella, that day, what was that that day? Yeah, right. And we look over, and it's just a couple of dinosaurs boning, and some lady got offended. So we're like, okay, whew. right, good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is like my dream. Yo! <laughs> yeah, this is my dream. Yo! <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I can't wait till we talk about this on the podcast. Fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. And um, so we're like instantly like in a better place, yeah. right? And then um, a pterodactyl just gliding, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just gliding. Jeff Goldblum says, oh, look, it's pterodactyl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dinosaur bird. Yeah. He it, says some crazy like uh, yeah. some scientific name for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Me and you were super confused. Wesley obviously knows everything that's going on, so he's putting it in layman's terms for us. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, he's yeah. like that means the wings. You right. know what I mean? That's how yeah. they fly. It's a ter- it's a it's a pterodactylus mitochondrial of ele- elephantitis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um just as he says that the pterodact- pterodactyl swan dives and takes off Jeff Goldblum's head. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. All right. And that's that. That's that. Another ep. Ep 44 in the books. Fo fo bulldog. That's my mother effing pet. I pointed at you and tell that mother F a fetch. There it is. Who said that? Lil Wayne. Is it Wheezy?